Welcome to the Dynabook Tecra X40 product unboxing and setup with a Thunderbolt 3 docking station. In this video, we're going to show you an overview of the X40 laptop, the Thunderbolt 3 docking station, and how these two devices connect to each other and external equipment. The items that come with your laptop are going to be the AC power adapter and AC power cord. You may have an optional accessory USB-C to LAN adapter for connecting to a LAN when not using the Thunderbolt 3 docking station. On the right side of your laptop, you're going to find the micro SD card slot, two Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C ports. These include power delivery for your laptop and an HDMI output. On the left side of the laptop, you're going to find the USB 3 port and a headphone slash microphone jack. From the front view of the laptop, you'll have an HD webcam with dual microphones. You'll also have a DC in power indicator, which will glow white when the AC adapter is connected and the battery is fully charged, or amber when the AC adapter is connected and the battery is charging. You'll also find the power indicator that shows when the laptop is powered on. Looking down at the laptop, you have the power button, the AccuPoint device, and the touchpad with fingerprint reader and control buttons. You'll also see the spill-resistant backlit keyboard. Now let's move on to the Thunderbolt 3 docking station. The items that come with your docking station are going to be the AC adapter, AC power cord, and one Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C cable. On the left side of the docking station, you're going to find the power button to turn your docking station on and off. On the front of the docking station, you'll find a power indicator and an indicator showing when the laptop is connected to the docking station. You'll also find two USB Type-C ports Note that these are not Thunderbolt 3 ports, but standard USB Type-C ports, a USB 3 port, and a headphone microphone jack. On the back of the Thunderbolt 3 dock, you have three USB 3 ports. Note that you can plug in your external keyboard and mouse into one of these ports. You have an RJ45 LAN port and you have the Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C port for connecting the dock to the laptop. Note that this port also will supply power to the laptop, so you would not need to connect your AC adapter to the laptop when it is connected to the Thunderbolt 3 dock. In Video Group 1, you can connect one of your LCD displays to either the HDMI output or the full-size display port output. In Video Group 2, you can connect a second LCD display to either the VGA output, the mini display port output, or the HDMI output. However, do note that the Thunderbolt 3 dock does support up to three external displays. See your user guide for configuration and setup with additional displays. Finally, we have the DC in jack for providing power to the Thunderbolt 3 dock. Next, let's look at connecting the Thunderbolt 3 dock to the laptop and external displays. First, connect the Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C cable to the back of the Thunderbolt 3 dock. Next, connect the right side LCD monitor to the HDMI out on Video Group 1. Then, connect the left side LCD monitor to the HDMI out on Video Group 2. And finally, connect the AC adapter to the DC in port. Now let's connect the Thunderbolt 3 dock to the laptop using the Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C cable from the dock to one of the Thunderbolt 3 ports on the laptop. This connection also powers the laptop from the Thunderbolt 3 dock and for charging the laptop battery. This last illustration shows a typical office setting using the laptop with a Thunderbolt 3 dock, two monitors, a keyboard, and a mouse. This concludes this video on the Dynabook Tecra X40 product unboxing and setup with a Thunderbolt 3 docking station.